Hello everyone, welcome back. Apologies for not being here for a while. Exams are coming up, so we're just going to do a quick video, talk about what's coming to War Thunder and what has recently arrived. First up, Hungary is here. The Hungarian air tree has finally arrived. And here it is. I don't have Italy ground out, so I can't show you properly, but they've got a Yak-9P, a post-war Tu-2, IL-10, and primarily just Russian equipment, but they do get um, their own modification of the Gripen, so we'll get to that at the end. First up, we have the Yak-9P. The Yak-9 is a very efficient fighter. I hate fighting them while playing the A6M5. They are very good, and, well, th we've got camouflage to show, so let's do it. This is red number 5, you just change the number on the back to 5. So, and it changes the roundel, so that's nice. Next up we have the TU-2 from the post-war. I do love the, um, what, the nose effect for the paint, looks really good, and I don't think there's a camouflage for this one at the moment. Next we have the IL-10, carbon copy from what's in Russia and China. Their camouflage is, well, yellow 33. Looks really nice. Now let's get to the new jets. They have a MiG-15 BIS. And what the camouflage shows here is the sand. Not to mention there's just straight plain metal if you still prefer the lovely seamless grey. But the MiG-15 BIS is effective in stall trapping, I am pretty sure. It's a very good plane, from what people have told me, and from what I've been murdered by. Only problem is, for Russia, sadly, it is a folded vehicle. So you can get it perfectly fine here. Hungary also gets the IL-28. This is one of the best dive bombers, and have a really powerful gun in the back, so if you're going to take this thing from behind, using your fighters, don't. Just don't try unless you have missiles. Doesn't get a camouflage, but you do get two guns in the nose, so you can head on people, but you have almost zero ammo. Here it's ground ordnance, got a Fab 3000. And you have, you to take out a base, just take these. The Fab 500s. Four of those equals one base, equals RP. Now for their rank 6 plane, they have the MiG-17 PF. The same plane that is in Germany, so the Lim 5P, and a bit of a downgrade from the Shenyang F5 sitting in China for the premium section. This one doesn't get air-to-air -air missiles, but it does get a very simple radar, and no 37. You still have, you have three 23 mils. So, not to mention afterburner. Not sure how this plane flies, so to each their own and how they work. Now for the rank 7s. Hungary also gets an SU-22. These planes were updated in Update Alpha Strike, and they got four more fuel tanks. Not four more, two more, so now they have a total of four. I don't know where you would need that much fuel, unless you're trying to play as an AWACS aircraft, or as a recon in simulator mode. We will never know. Not to mention 12 large caliber countermeasures. This is the same plane that is the Russian squadron vehicle, the Su-22 M3. This one's from Syria. This one is from Hungary. Now, they have two MiG-21s. Hungary also has the MiG-21 MF, same one as in Germany. So, they also got fuel tanks this update, just pointing that out. So you have R60s. And you can now choose if you want to take countermeasures, which I think you'd want to do. Don't know if you're stupid, but we'll figure that out later. You get R60, 60G missiles, 10.3, they're pretty good. You also get the R3R, but at this battle rating, most people are still carrying chaff. Not to mention, the camouflage. You got bicolor. Looks really nice. The Hungarian camo's really beautiful. And I just realized, I forgot to show you the camouflage on the SU-22. Here we are. A bit less 
more, a bit less colourful, a bit darker. And that's why it's called Wasp. That is an interesting image. Next up, we have the MiG-21 BIS SAU, or SAU. It's just a MiG-21 BIS. No difference in terms of ordnance, I'm pretty sure. You get the R60MKs, the exported ones. No difference in performance, and R13s. Now, the camouflages for this one are really good. We have the Papa, I'm pretty sure. So you get the Hungarian flag plastered on the back tail, on the, well, the spine and the tail. And now we have the Banana Mig. This is probably going to be the most used out of all of them, as it just looks hilarious. Can't wait to see these in the battlefield. Now, Hungary also gets the MiG-23MF. You're probably wondering, why does that name sound familiar? Well, Germany, that is their event vehicle from 2021 to 2022. So Germany's one is an old event vehicle, which is the exact same in every way, shape, or form as the Russian MiG-23M. I'm still working on spading this plane, it's so painful. But the MiG-23MF for Italy or Hungary, Hungary mainly, is going to be a really interesting plane at 11.0, as you do get the R60MKs, sadly start and have to use R13s, which is still pretty good, but there's R23Rs and R23Ts. These missiles are very unreliable. I personally just take four R60s, or six, or four R60s, and, uh, and two R13s. You, do, you only get 12 large caliber countermeasures, so use them sparingly, please. You do get some ground ordnance, like the what, two Fab 500s, a few Napalm, and some ground ordnance, some what, air to ground missiles, or rockets, I should say. But it's going to just be another way to bolster the lineup for Hungary. You also get their plain basic camouflage, along with the five color, which looks like a child painted it, but still really good. It's going to be a lovely plane to see on the, on the battlefield. Next up, we have one of Italy's, or Hungary, one of their new top dogs. The MiG-29 912B. This plane finally gives Italy some long-range, beyond-visual-range abilities. Yes, they have the Espide, with, Aspa, with, with what, the Espide missiles sitting on the F-104 SASA. But they aren't good as you lose the gun. Oh, you have the Tornado ADV with the super temps. That is true. Still, you're sitting on a bus. And you have the F-16A with two AIM-7s. You really think people want to play these? So, this MiG-29 finally gives them the ability to have the long range. It also gives them HMD, which is a very needed thing in top tier. You only get our 60 MKs, which are not the best, but they still perform. Also get the R27R1s as the starter radar missile once you unlock them, and the R27T1s. These missiles all perform exactly the same as their Russian counterpart. There is zero difference. Camouflages for this plane look amazing. This anniversary one. It just looks American, I'm not trying to be rude, but wow. Just look at it. It's amazing. If I'm playing Italy, this is the only reason why. It is a very lovely looking skin, and they also get the eagle skin, which just looks great. These camouflages fit not as well for actually fighting, but as an air show. Let's say you're running a custom battle, and you want to do a flyby, here you are. Run this, run that. Even base colors like this look good. A base plane with no color on it still has its charm. And finally, let's talk about the Saab JAS-39C for Hungary. 
also known as the Gripen. They gave it two extra fuel tanks, and these two on the side get art, which I'm pretty sure are the only two in the game at the moment which have fuel tank art. This plane gets access to two new variants of the Maverick, the AGM-65G and the AGM-65H, the G being a high-explosive warhead. No, not high-explosive, being a SAP high-explosive. Not to mention that the H has a better heat warhead. You also get Skyflash dogfights, which are not the best, still okay, and AIM-9Ms. This plane is going to severely help Italy out. They have needed something that can actually fight for a long time. They've had the Harrier, which is good, but it's slow. And only four missiles at 11.7, it's a death sentence. You have the Tornado IDS, which is just a ground attacker. Who would use that? You have the ADV. You're a boat. Like a pseudo tomcat in a sense, and you have the F, you have the F sixteen. You're a block fifteen, so you're heavier, so you don't perform as well. So, the Gripen really bolsters Italy. Might not actually help them in ground RB, as Italy ground is a whole different story. Rest in peace, Aliette. But the Gripen just helps them out so much. You have the lightning targeting pod, you have the paveways, you have the, the paveway threes, which are huge, and you have the extra countermeasures. This plane is going to save them. Italy's been going down here for a while. They got the AMX in A superiority. That really helped, as for being so small, you have this. But having the ability with HMD, IRCCM missiles, the AM9Ms, and one and this beautiful power pack sitting back here. Lightweight aircraft, high AOA, not enough cannon rounds, but still really good gun. This plane will save them. Now, if you have any questions, do leave them down below. Exams are still going on, so the MBT-70 video has been postponed. I'm sad to announce that, but I have to. I'm still working on it slowly. So, yeah. Now, there is one thing to announce. I have a Discord server in the works. It is still 90% finished. I just want to make sure it's finished to the point where we can have people. I don't want people joining and they suddenly get booted out for saying, Hi, and me 6 just completely smites them out of the earth. So, MBT70 video, when that's out, you will have the link down in the description to join me. Hell, we'll run some games, you can meet my friends, we can all just screw around and have fun. Thank you for watching, enjoy the Hungarian tech tree while it's new, and go get those camouflages. Goodbye.